Hello guys, it's Chris here and welcome back to another video. Um, today this video is going to be a compilation video of a few of my recent-ish law fishing sessions. My heavy law fishing game has been really off recently. Part of me thinks it's down to the pike, just with the weather changes it's throwing them off. At the minute we've had like, we've got one night which is like minus four degrees and the next night it'll be five degrees. It's just up and down at the minute. One minute it's in the minuses, next minute we're like plus five, ten degrees in the day. I just think it's throwing them off a little bit. There isn't really a constant temperature. It's going up and down, up and down. Um, but I've had a few fish. Now some of this footage is going to go back to sort of the beginning of autumn, end of summer, sort of beginning of September time and through October. Um, I did manage to get out and fish the Forgotten Ponds a couple of times. I know you guys have been waiting for an update. Um, so the first lot of footage that you're actually going to see in this video is when I visited there using some dead mice. I wanted to use some dead mice, thought it'd be a good video, good bit of, sort of clickbait almost, so to speak. Kind of a nice thumbnail using dead mice on it, uh, up at the Forgotten Ponds. But unfortunately it didn't really go very well. I did manage one fish, uh, that'll be the first lot of footage you see in this video. And then the next lot of footage you'll see is when I went up there a few weeks later and decided to hit it with some big laws. And I did manage a nice fish out. And then I'm going to go on to the rest of my law fishing I've done recently. So that is, uh, I've done a little bit on a tidal river. One time I didn't take a GoPro, unfortunately. But the second time I did, and I managed a nice fish out then. And then it's just a bit of mishmash, bit from the river, bit from the canal. Just bits of fishing I've done recently, where I've had an hour spare or two hours spare. Most sessions recently I've been blanking, so it's been a struggle. But I hope you enjoy this video, and coming up soon will be some more dead baiting videos, some more underwater videos some more chub and barbel videos i think i've got lined up i've done a bit of chub fishing recently so i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to comment rate subscribe enjoy now, this is one of the spots we saw last time i believe i did actually have a pike from this swim last time i think i just had the one but it's a nice open area Yeah, they're all still pretty frozen. So I just hope that when a pike takes it, they still hold on, even though they're a bit solid. Bit sinister, really, isn't it? Hey ho, they were going to be food for summer, weren't they? Just a short cast, so I can work this margin. Lots of whirly gigs on the surface. Let's get right down here. Ooh. Trying not to fall in. I almost fell in a few times last time. Right, this is where I get stuck in the tree. Nice, right into open water. I'm gonna keep the rod high now. Pike, got one, it's taking it. I can leave it. Let it eat it. Ready? Steady. Oh, no, it took my bait. I should have let him eat it longer. No. <laughs> well, he's got a free meal now, hasn't he? It must have been a small pike, but I don't want to risk him. You know, it could have been a, a five pound pike that could have hooked that straight back. So we don't want to risk that. Strike early, it's best off losing a bait. A couple of mice left. So I've got mice and then I've got surface baits in my bag as well. So don't worry, when I run out of mice, that's not the end of it. Yeah, he must have just grabbed the booty of the mouse. And not the head. Oh, that was a good cast. That was perfect. Oh, pike. I think it might have been that same fish. It was a small jack pike, it really went for it and missed. That was disappointing. It was close. It's a shame, I don't think you can really see very well out there. It was right behind the trees. Cast it out more into open water and see if it comes and follows it in. So you can at least see the take. 
lots of rain coming down now. There we go, Pike's following it. Oh, it tried, it missed. Let's make it sink. Got it. I let the, let the rat sink, the mouse sink for a second and it just annihilated it. Oh, it's chewing on it. It's only a small pike, so I'll give it a second. I don't want to risk losing this one again. Are you ready? I believe it to be that same fish. Ready? Oh no, again. I lost it again. Well, last mouse. <laughs> it didn't really go to plan, did it? So what I've got is, here were two styles of frogs. Small frog, big frog. Small frog would be better suited for this rod because it has slightly thinner hooks, so it'd be better hook up rate. Probably go with that. Or I've got a popper. In fact, no, I'm gonna go with popper. I want maximum hook up. If we get an area which is super weedy, then I'll go for frog. It's a really cheap popper. Chuck it straight on. Like I say, this is gonna give me the maximum hook up rate. So obviously it has two treble hooks. But I can get snagged up in the trees easier. Seeing as though this swim isn't too bad for snags, I'll start off with this one. There we are, tied on to me. 20 pound wire trace. Rain's really coming down now. It's funny, the mouse that flung off my line, I kept looking out, just seeing it drifting in the middle, slowly going along. And um, after I finished tying up, I, I mean, I can't see it anywhere. I don't know where it's gone. So I'm guessing maybe the pike came up and took it, finished it off. Anyway, let's hope this pike's still hungry. They do love mice though. They love mice in the uh, secret ponds. Oh, look at that popper. Definitely a lot better action than the mouse. Bit more in your face, loud, obnoxious. Got it, there we are. That's that pike that was eating my mice. Really trying to get into them snags. Gotta keep the rod up high. Good, he's feisty. Let's get the net. Whoa, he's not happy. Now, should I look down his neck, see if we can see the mice down there? Nope, they went down and disappeared. They didn't come back. Nice, Jack, actually, really clean fish. Look at that, nicely hooked. Absolutely perfect. Textbook take. Awesome. We'll let him rest. He's quite chunky, he's fat. It's because he's been eating the mice. <laughs> Get him unhooked and we'll put him back. Uh, let's see if we can use our fingers. There we are. Got my trigger grip pliers in my pocket, but... I always call them trigger grip pliers, but not pistol grip. <sighs> Don't jump. There we are. Hooked, him, hooked up to him with a popper. We'll let him rest in the edge and then we'll let him go.
more depth on it. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, drag's not set. Damn it, I had my drag set loose because I've been putting some new line on my reel. I lost it down. Why did I not check my drag before coming out? Jeez. Want a huge fish, probably a fish of maybe three pounds. God, he absolutely slammed it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's a bigger fish. That's not the same one, I don't think. Well, it could be, about the same size. Saying that the troubles would only get caught up a minute anyway. He's got some big teeth. Look at that, on the tench, I was about to say bream there, nice stoked actually, beautiful fish, absolutely no damage caused, so I don't need to get my spray out on it, probably a fish of about three pound, take a slightly better look at him, there we go, beautiful colours on him, really healthy river fish. any time getting back today. Whoa, there we go. Oh, what did he come off? <laughs> Weren't a very big fish though. Only a small jack pike. Man, he nailed that. Keep him low, like the last one. Or look him in the water. Good jump, mate. Good jump. Oh, good jump, mate. He went coming off us, put it that way. There we go. Oh, Jack Pike. See you later. Oh, there we go. Nice bike. Oh, well, it felt nice when it took it. Oh, it's not bad. And my handmade bait, the broom handle bait. I'm not going to net him. He's got some hooks loose. Beautiful fish. Man. Oh, and he's just come free. You know, I should have netted him. Probably fish about that. Yeah, six or seven pound maybe. The pack I just lost just came back for the bait. There we go, got him again. Absolutely crushed it. Thanks mate, I just lost you. Look at that. Oh, the oaks are there, the oaks are there. Oh, it's not bad actually. Probably a fish of about six pound. Really fat, really short. Sort of crushed it, look. T-boned it. I'm going to have to get my long ties out now. There we go. Now he's got a little bit of damage on the right hand side there where his teeth are. So he's got a bit of damage there very quickly. Spray, 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 spray. Don't even know whether that's from me or not because it's not, doesn't look fresh. And we'll let him go. <laughs> There you go, big guy. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that subscribe button below to see more underwater content, more law fishing content, more all-round course fishing content. I'll catch you guys later.